Hello everyone and welcome to another foundation review for me. I wasn't planning on filming this particular review today for this week's foundation review, but I have been getting a lot of requests from you all. I can think of at least a few, so that counts as a lot, right? Right? <laughs> Either way, I have been getting requests from you guys to test out this foundation. I don't know if one of the bigger beauty YouTubers or something recently did a review and maybe they really loved it or something, so you want my opinion, but either way, blah blah blah. I have a little baby deluxe sample here from when I had ordered another foundation that I was planning on testing with you all. They were offering a free little, you know, deluxe sample with a purchase if you're I think you have to be a VIB for that, but you know what I mean. This is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. Now this is new from Dior, so exciting I guess. I feel like a lot of people really really love their foundation. Now I'm a little mad because I'm trying to look to see it because this is a $40 foundation, but people were saying it's actually not that expensive because you actually get more than the typical ounce in a full-size bottle. So now I'm mad that I didn't buy the full-size bottle because I can't freaking find anywhere online how much comes in a full-size bottle of this. I looked on Dior's website, I looked on Sephora's website. Hopefully I can find out how much comes in a full-size bottle and ping, put it right up here for you. If not, I apologize. I don't know why they're not listing that anywhere, but it is $40 for a bottle of this in any case, and there are 40 different shades available. Ping, here you go, are the arm swatches and all the different shades and everything just in general. From what I can tell, it looks like a good shade range, especially the arm swatches it looks like there's one arm for light there's one arm for medium and then there's one arm for medium to deep but when you actually see it on the models faces and everything it does look like there's a good range from light too deep. So yay to Dior for looking like anyways you made a good inclusive shade range. I personally selected the shade 1N so let's go ahead and see. Uh it looks a little dark and it looks a little pink in real life, but we shall see. Dior says that this is approved by all of Dior's makeup artists, which I feel like, duh. <laughs> but it's going to provide us with an instantly perfected complexion and then it also has extremely buildable coverage. Excuse me, ultra buildable coverage. It's supposed to give a second skin feeling and look to the skin and it's also supposed to be extremely water and sweat proof so they say you're supposed to be able to work out with this foundation on. I personally don't think it's ever good to work out with your makeup on but that's just me. But you know they also say that means that it will survive even in the most humid of climates and just in general it's gonna look good under stage lights and all that because don't we all walk under stage lights and bright lights every day? Regardless, that is that. I'm excited to try this out. I was more excited before I saw the shade of this, but we're still, we're gonna make it work. It's gonna be okay, right? It'll be okay. So, before I get ahead of myself, let's go ahead, sing the song together, and then we can go ahead and start putting this on my face. Let's test, let's test, hot mess or the best. Alright, I'm gonna take my dirty glasses off. I need to clean those. Too much? There we go. Here's my face. Yes, fellow glasses wearers of the world, I got you as always. We will see how this foundation does underneath our glasses. And we'll also be using a primer as always to make sure that we can give this foundation the best chance possible on my extremely oily skin. All right, I'm gonna give this a shake because it looked like it had separated a bit. Ooh, ooh, comes with a little paddle. How fancy, Dior. Tuck my hair back. Now, Dior said to use their foundation brush, but I don't have a Dior foundation brush. So as always, I'm going to be testing using a brush on one half of my face and a sponge on the other half. Ooh, that is, that is fragranced. It smells like a foundation, but it also smells like a fragrance. And Dior, I know you do make fragrances, but I don't know. I feel like most of us prefer for there to not be fragrance in our foundations because our skin doesn't like fragrance. So, try with a brush here. They said to use circular motions to buff this in. Oh my god, yeah. That is really, really strong. I mean, it smells like a nice fragrance, but like I said, I would rather not have that being rubbed into my skin since I do have sensitive skin. But I am surprised the color really 
looks like it might be blending in quite nicely, so yay, that pleases me. And this is also just buffing in in general really, really nicely. Like this does look like a lighter weight, or not a lighter weight. I mean, it does feel quite lightweight, but a lighter coverage foundation, but it's still giving pretty decent coverage, you know? You can definitely tell the difference from side to side. So yay, I'm excited. But I mean, you can see, right, when it's going on, it looks super watery and like it's not really gonna give much coverage at all. But it's doing just a fan. So let's see how this does with a sponge. I think it looks really good, you guys. Hey, it looks super natural, but you can see it definitely took away, at least I hope you can see, I hope you guys are in focus. It certainly took away redness on my problem area on my nose that I have at the moment, but overall it just looks like it blended in really nicely. It's got a really nice, natural, smooth finish. Still very heavily fragranced, but <laughs> we're gonna hope that that doesn't cause too much trouble, but since they said that this is ultra super duper buildable. Let's go ahead and give that a try. Dang dude, yeah, that looks really, really nice. I think that definitely was able to build up, took away the extra redness on some of the blemishes on my forehead, also on my nose, like I mentioned. I think it looks good in my pores. I would say, is this what we would call a demi-matte finish? I feel like in some areas it looks a little dewy and natural, and then in some areas it does look matte, so we'll see how that ends up staying or evolving throughout the day. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup here, and then I will be back in just a second to check in with you all here on YouTube land. Ready? Ding! All right, so I know, not a huge transformation. Sorry if that's a disappointment to some of you, but here we go, it's a light makeup day. I think it looks really good right now. I think it looks really even, really natural, just really, really nice on my face and therefore on my skin. As far as I can see, it hasn't settled into pores or anything weird or is looking cakey. I can already kind of see that it's rubbing off underneath my glasses, which has me worried because that might be foreshadowing for a future mess here today, but time will tell. Here is the flash photo test for you all. I think it looks gorgeous in flash photography. Perfect color match on my skin. Looks matte, but like natural and soft and glowing and delightful really, really good in the flash photo test, I think, anyway. So yeah, I think that's about all I can report to you for now. Things are feeling good. It feels super lightweight. I'm excited to see how this wears throughout the day. It is currently 1.22 in the afternoon. I just got my typical errands to run. I'm gonna get a bit more filming done here today, a bit more work done. I've got Trashy TV night tonight with Menemuti, so that will be fun. I think my brother's joining us as well, so it should be a good day overall. I will be checking in with you all throughout the day so that we can see how this foundation is wearing and then I will see you all for my final check-in at the very end of the night so I'll see you all very soon here on YouTube land bye It's currently quarter to two in the morning. I'm just gonna be straight up honest with you guys and say it. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I guess I'm not gonna say it because I don't have any words.
I think my face looks better now than it did even when I first applied this and I thought it looked great when I first applied it. But apparently this is one of those foundations that just blends with face oils and becomes a miracle mixture on the skin. There is no caking, there's just a little bit of creasing between my brows where I furrow them when I'm concentrating. And overall, I just think it looks incredible. So let's go ahead and go through the pause rating system here while I tell you all about my feelings more in depth, I guess, if I can find the words. P stands for performance, A is for application, W is for the price and S is for shade range. So for performance, oh yes. Oh yes. I mean, I wasn't sweating profusely or anything at any point today. I feel like I was in the air conditioning for the most part, but you know, going in and out of my car and into stores and carrying stuff and like that sort of a thing. It was that kind of stuff. I mean, I definitely got oily at one point and then, you know, right now before filming, I'm feeling a little bit oily as well. But this did not transfer off onto the blotting sheet at all that I could see. And it's one of those ones that it's weird because when I touch my face, I can see some foundation transfer, especially if I touch myself where I'm really oily. But then looking at it, I don't see any sort of a transfer mark or anything. Not to mention, like I said, I feel like this is the kind of foundation that looks better with time. It has felt super lightweight all day. Like, for the most part, I would say... <laughs> rewind. When I was not oily or when I didn't feel super oily, it feels like I'm not wearing foundation. When my oils come through, it feels like I'm wearing a foundation, but it feels like I'm wearing a very lightweight foundation. So, I mean, overall, I don't feel like I have hardly any complaints except for the transferiness, but even then, you know, like, what's the big deal? Because you can't really tell on my face. I'm going to give this near-perfect marks on the performance and give it a 4.75 out of 5. For application, it was beautiful. There was fragrance. And that worries me. <laughs> Otherwise, it went on beautifully. Super buildable, and even where you do build, it doesn't end up looking cakey, at least not that I noticed. Was wonderful to apply except for the fragrance. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it an almost perfect application score and give it a 4.75. For worth the price, you know, for this good of wear, I don't mind spending the extra money on good wearing foundation like this, you know, like Estee Lauder double wear type of a thing. I don't mind paying the price if it's gonna work really well for me. So for me, is it worth the price? I mean, I guess it's gonna change if this ends up breaking me out or something, but... I kind of think it's super worth the price. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 4.9. Just that little bit for the fragrance. Just a little bit. Because that is a problem. To me anyways. So. Almost completely worth the price. I know some of you are probably really mad at me. And then shade range looked really good. Was it perfect? No. No foundation range is ever gonna be perfect. But it was really, really good when I was piecing all of the model photos together because I couldn't find a JPEG of that just on its own, so I had to do it myself. But when I was doing that, it looked super inclusive, so I'm gonna go ahead and again give it a 4.75. I think this might be getting one of my highest pause ratings. It's getting... Oh crap, what was it? It was like a 19.2 or so. It was a 19 point something. But overall, it's getting a 4.7875. Almost five stars, yeah. At least based off of this first impression, it is down to just the fact that there's so much fragrance in this. And I'm nearly positive that that is not gonna make my skin very happy. But for special occasions and stuff, and just like when I know I'm gonna be out sweating and whatnot, out in this summer humidity and heat. Heck, even when it's like cold out and I just wanna feel good about myself. This is a really nice foundation. At least, you know, so far. Today's the day. I am retesting out this foundation so that we can see, since it said that it's absolutely sweat proof and workout proof. I don't know, Katie, would you call this a workout? Of the soul. It's an event. We're gonna be at a street dance. Stay tuned. If it lasts through this, this is, this is a winner. That was three years ago today. Oh my god. Oh.
this first impression of mine was helpful for you guys in seeing how this ended up wearing on my face and my skin and all that good stuff. Let me know down in the comments below if you have tried out this foundation and what your experience was with it. How do you feel about fragrance in your foundation? Am I, I can't be the only one that is bothered by that. And I can't be the only one whose skin is bothered by that. I know that that is not the case. But I love hearing from you guys in the comments down below. Also, if you did enjoy this review and found it helpful, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. You can become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!